Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, hi, Kelly. Welcome back. Hi, Maddie. Thank you so very Hello. much for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, as I broadcast across the nation on an FM platform. I'm so excited about season 14. Thank you so much for being here. Our pleasure. We spoke with you last year, didn't we? That's what I said. Welcome back, Kelly. I did. I, speak, okay. I spoke with you last year. Yes, I remember your voice. Very uplifting. Thank you so very much. Well, I don't know if I could lift my voice the way those Dallas Cowboys uh, cowgirls lift their legs, I'd be okay. How about that? <laughs> That's a little harder, I think, sometimes. It is. It is. And I was reading just a little bit of your background, Kelly. I didn't know you had been through the organization as you had. No wonder you're so seasoned and prepared for the job that you have today. I do have experience with the organization, yes. I actually started with the Cowboys as a cheerleader in 1984. That is incredible that you have moved to this level of notoriety because your position is so coveted. I'm sure a lot of people will be poised to take your job. Tell me, what are we going to see in this new season? And then I'll go to Maddie. This season, we have the largest returning class of veterans trying out. We have 28 veterans trying out, so we have very few spots for new rookies. makes it more competitive. Uh, this season, we have probably our largest group of highly skilled technical dancers from across the country. We have ladies from 32 states. We have um, candidates from across the world. We have one from Japan, Canada, and Jamaica. Uh, we have lots of guest choreographers coming through from, from, you know, incredible backgrounds that help teach and judge the ladies. And then we have, you know, some of our normal, our normal situations of the audition process itself. And then the 10 weeks of training camp that involves all of the dancing, all the teaching, the coaching, and then the cheerleaders bonding and the struggles that are, go along with that. Maddie. Tell me how your experience this year will be either different or expanded or what? I think my experience this year will definitely be expanded. That's a great word um, to describe what this year holds for me. I, it will be my second season as a leader, and it helps you grow. As much as I feel like the job title kind of is for us to help the girls on the team, it ends up helping us grow as well, and it's an honor, honestly. Well, I wish you the best of luck because it's a great job. It really is. Kelly, uh, you talked about some of those choreographers. I saw you've got people from uh, who train people so you think you can dance. You've got uh, a choreographer who works with Kendrick Lamar, uh, Megan Trainer, Britney Spears. That's some high-powered uh, uh, talent there. Is this a part of why the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders are number one? Well, it certainly adds to the integrity and the prestige of the organization as a dance-based organization. Um, you mentioned uh, Kendrick Lamar. That's Charm LaDonna. She comes in from L.A. Travis Wall, who um, has an Emmy. Tice DiOrio, also an Emmy. Um, was it Cheryl Burke from Dancing with the Stars. Neil McCoy, recording artist. Melissa Rycroft from Dancing with the Stars and a former cheerleader. We just have this incredible group of guest artists that come through and not only kind of help us make some choices, but, but they also give some great advice and, and wonderful dance classes. Are you able to attract these? Because I had recently heard, you know, I'm in Dallas, and recently heard that Dallas Cowboys is, is valued at $500 billion in some uh, amount that we, we can't fathom. So that makes the cheerleaders and just uh, an attractive group to want to be a part of. So is this how you attract the talent? I, I think uh, the talent that we attract is from the, the quality and the excellence that is part of our brand. And, you know, just as a dancer and a performer, you know, people are drawn to excellence. You want to... You want, if you're an athlete, you want to play with the best or compete against the best. And in our case, these, these dancers 
are coming from all over the country. We have ladies coming from other NFL teams, other NBA teams, NHL teams. Additionally, they're coming from incredible college dance and fine arts programs. So it's we're we're so I don't want to say it's lucky because it hasn't been luck, but we are so blessed that people um, come to our organization that are so well trained and ready to commit what it takes. Well, we are so proud as just regular patrons of the Dallas Cowboys. We're so proud of the cheerleaders and the team and everything that it brings to Dallas. When do you guys want us to watch you guys on television? The show, the first show airs this Friday. This Friday on CMT, it's 9, 8 Central. So here in Dallas, it's 8 o'clock, but it's 9 Eastern. All right, we'll be there. Ellie, I can't wait for the new season, so thank you for coming and giving my audience a preview. And Maddie, I wish you the best of luck, and please come back next year when you guys probably win an Emmy or something like that. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a great season. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch 